Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I am going to give you some important descriptive questions for NABAD IT. I will be bringing this series for all of you who are actually going to prepare and are preparing for the phase 2 of NABAD IT. Descriptive questions play a very important role as well as the MCQ section. So I will keep bringing videos on the descriptive questions and the MCQs, uh, like important MCQ questions which can be a potential candidate questions or the concepts for your exam. So before I proceed for this particular video, I would like everyone to hit the bell icon and subscribe the channel so that you never miss these kinds of videos which we are going to upload in this upcoming uh, week. Also, we have uploaded a lot of videos, total six videos on the previous year descriptive questions of Nabad IT 2021 and 2022 with sample answers as well. So for that reason, I want everyone to subscribe and uh, like the uh, video so that it can be uh, reached to every student out there. So we all are helping each other by these contents on the YouTube. And I would like you to appreciate our effort by liking the video. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed for some set of descriptive questions. And all the questions that I'm going to bring in this video are going from uh, to be from the topic of the networking. So from networking, what can be the potential uh, questions which you actually have to practice for writing the answers these are like five questions which i'll be showing you right now so the first question is of what is tcp ip model and how does it work so you can see the question is very easy and everybody knows the concept but the thing here is like how you're going to write the answer so i would give you the answer template not the answer word by word that what you're going to write you have to break your answers in some template so here is the template First, you have to start with the TCP IP model of introduction section. Now, why you have to always start with introduction of any particular concept? Because when the examiner is going to read your answer, the first paragraph play a very important role. So you have to make sure that you put enough effort and good vocabulary in technical terms so that the examiner wants to read more into your answer. So for that, you have to give a good technical vocabulary rich answer for introduction of TCP IP model. After that, you have to give the key features of the TCP IP model with some bullet points. So you don't have to write a paragraph. You are going to write the answer in the bulleted format. Next, you have to give the explanation for all the layers which are there in the TCP IP model. And at the end, when you are going to draw a conclusion, you are going to explain how it works. Like it, the initial uh, subsystems already explain how it works, but in the conclusion, you will actually focus how it works, how it is important and what is the way ahead and what is the past implication of using the TCP IP model. So that will be a great enriched conclusion for this particular question. Now, you have to represent this entire answer in minimum 300 words so that if it occurs for 15 marker or 10 marker, you are safe. Now. The next question is what is the difference between TCP and UDP? So here you can see again the TCP and UDP are there. First you have to explain what is TCP, then you have to explain what is UDP. And then you have to explain the key features of both individually. Okay, this will just uh, show that you have enough knowledge on both the things separately. After that you are going to show the similarities which are there in between both the protocols as well as the dissimilarities between both the protocols. You can use the headers of TCP and UDP to make your answer rich enough in the technical perspective. So when you are going to showcase the similarities and dissimilarities, take in uh, consideration of the headers, whatever is in the UDP, whatever is in the TCP, there are common source addresses, source uh, destinations, these kinds of things are there, which addresses are actually required by both of the protocols. So you can just say these are the similarities, both are used for transmission, and then you can jump to the dissimilarities, which one is better and how everything goes. Now in the conclusion, you can mention that which all protocols take help of the TCP, which all take help of the UDP, when you should use TCP, when you should not use TCP. So when you want everything to be connection oriented and you want everything to be concrete, you will go for TCP. Other than that, you will go for UDP if you just want the transmission to happen without any connection orientation. So this was about the question number two. Now, Jumping to question number three, what do you mean by firewall? This particular question is very important and this question can be answered in two ways. 
one without giving much technical insight and other just explaining the technical insight so you have to approach by the second option you have to give the introduction to the network because firewall is a part of network and to explain firewall first you should let the examiner know that you know enough about the network so you have to first make sure that you give a good introduction about the networks then you explain the importance of firewall in the networks along with the definition of firewall then you give the threat to security of network which will happen if or not firewall is there then how will firewall work in this entire scenario and how it will actually protect us how the intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system are in sync with the firewall and then you are going to give the examples of types of firewall and then you have to draw a conclusion so that is the thing you have to get in the entire particular answer so you get a good marks again the word limit should be minimum 300 here now the fourth question is you have to write about the concepts of subnetting and supernetting so these are two classical uh, concepts which are used and you should know because these are the practical implication and the practical application which happen in an organization so the template will go by introduction to networks then you will give introduction to network because supernetting and subnetting cannot be explained without the glance of network so explaining the network then concept of supernetting and subnetting then how does it work how does the subnetwork how does this super network why we need it and then at the end you will draw a conclusion in what scenario you are going to use subnet in what scenario you are going to go for the supernet this is the fourth question now coming to the fifth question this is the last question for the video what is domain name server that is the dns so first you have to explain about the introduction to dns then what is the role of dns in the entire internet that is the phone book of the internet then you have to explain about the different servers which are involved in dns the classification of domain name servers and then the working of dns once you are doing this thing when you explain the working you will just draw a two to three lines of conclusion because the entire question is having a lot of questions itself in between the like immediate questions are there like what is the role different kinds of servers classifications of dns working and everything so your conclusion here will be very small because you have a lot to write in the body part and every particular thing try to be there in the bulleted format in the numbered format so that examiner doesn't actually struggle to read in between the lines so they can easily get what you're trying to portray so that was all from my side for this video i hope you like this video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon again so that whenever we are going to bring such kind of video you are going to get this up we are also having a nabad iit phase 2 online course if you want to check it go to www.examby.com also prepare 50 percent faster with our courses so go out and check them all if you have any query, just drop that in comment section or you can call us or you can write a mail to us on the number and the email that is shown on the screen right now. So yes, guys, see you in the next video. Keep practicing and stay updated.